In this three-part series, we're gonna create a complete quoting app using Google App Sheet. And with this app, you'll be able to create quotes either on your computer or on your phone, like for example, when you're out at a customer site. It's perfect for businesses like catering, which is the example that we have here, as well as cleaning, contracting, or really any other type of business where you create quotes from a price list. If you're not familiar with Google App Sheet, what it is is Google's no-code platform that lets you create apps directly from Google Sheets, as well as a number of different places that you store your data. It works on computers and phones and even when you're offline, which is great for an app like this when you might be out at a customer site without internet. You're able to actually access your app then, create your quote, and be able to see it when you're back online at your computer again. And the app that we're gonna create here only uses the basic features of AppSheet. So you can build it with any version of AppSheet, including the core version that comes with Google Workspace, as well as the free version that you can get to by signing up on AppSheet.com. In this first video, we'll start by looking at the finished app so you can see exactly what you're building before you start. And from there, we'll look at how to lay out your data within Google Sheet and finally how to create your AppSheet app from that sheet. All right, let's get started. All right, before we get into building this app, let's take a look at what the app actually is and what the finished product is gonna look like. So this is the app over here that we're gonna be building. It's an app for quoting, field quoting, when you're actually going out to a customer site or meeting a customer somewhere using your phone and you have a price list of products and the cost of each one of those products. And you basically just wanna put those products into a quote, give them quantities and get a total amount in order to be able to give that quote to the customer. So we've got, again, a quoting app here. What it does, it's got a main tab here that shows whatever the currently active quote that you're working on is. So this is a quote that we have here for a catering, catering company. Uh, these are all the different items, the quantity for each one of those items, uh, extended subtotal total for each one of those, and then the total for everything up at the top. And I can go and I can add in additional items to this quote, or I can go in and edit them and change a value as far as the quantity or delete something. And again, everything updates automatically within the app so I can see what the total for that particular quote and that particular customer will be. So again, that's the main tab here is for working on your active quote. We also have add quote, which uh, lets you add a new quote for a, the same customer or the same client or a different client. And the archive, which lets you see all the quotes that you've created in the past, and you can go into any of them and you can open them up, which will then set that as the active quote in the main tab here so that we can update that quote. All right, I'm gonna start out here with a blank spreadsheet. So you see I've got three different subsheets within this Google Sheet. Quotes is the first one, which has got a column with ID, which is a standard thing needed for all app sheet tables, the created date for a particular quote, the client who that quote is for, the event name, and this open, which is gonna be a true or false value, indicating whether this is the quote that we're currently working on. True will mean that it is the quote that we're currently working on. False means that it's not. And then we've got items. So these are all your line items within the quote. And we're gonna have a link back to the actual quote that they're related to. Uh, and it will just go down and you'll put in the quantity for them and we'll do automatic calculation from the quantity to the actual items price, the linked items price, uh, to figure out what the sub subtotal is for each one of those lines. And then finally, we have another sheet here called uh, catalog. And you see, I've got a bunch of sample data in here. And this basically just has the ID for each one of our uh, items within our catalog. So these are the things that you can pick from. Uh, the name of that thing, the, and then the price for each, each particular or each specific item in that. So again, whatever the price each here would be multiplied by the quantity that you select when you actually add these things into your quote. All right, so we're gonna create a completely new app sheet app here, and I can do that by going up here and going under extensions to app sheet and create app. Takes a few seconds to actually load that app up. All right, and we wanna customize our app. And I'm gonna start here in our data menu. Whenever you use that shortcut from Sheets in order to create a new application, 
it only adds in the first sheet. So the quotes uh, sheet was the first one that we had in our overall Google sheet there. So it only added that one in. So we need to manually go and add in our other two. And you can do that by just clicking this plus icon uh, to the right of data up here. And I'm gonna select Google Sheets for the source. And I'm gonna select Catering Quotes, which is the sheet that we are just looking at. And you see Quotes is already showing is connected. And it's got these other two check boxes here saying that I can add the other two sheets that are available within that Google Sheet. So I'm just gonna leave those checked and hit Add to Tables. And now we have all of our tables added into the app. So the next step you wanna take when you're creating a new app is to look at all the data types that AppSheet initially assigns uh, automatically and make any changes as necessary. So we'll start with our quotes table. You see it's got the ID, it's saying that it's text, that's fine. Uh, and it's got an initial value of unique ID, which I mean, basically we have that ID column within our sheet. Uh, and whenever a new record is created, it will automatically generate a unique ID to put into that row for that column, which is exactly what we want. So that one's good. We can leave it alone. Created is the, again, this one is really intended to be the created date for that particular quote. So we can use that for ordering. You'll see as we get further along into this. So it automatically assigned the type of that to text, but what we want it to be instead is a date and time column. So I can just select that from the drop down here, date and time. And for the initial value, I want to set it to the time that this particular record was created. So whenever I create a new quote, I want it to automatically put the date and time in there. So I can do that by clicking this underneath initial value. And there's a simple expression called now with that actually inserts the current date and time. So I can just type that and open parentheses, close parentheses, and that will give the expression to do that. So we are all set with that one. Next one is the client. This is just plain text that we wanna enter with the client's name. If you continue to build this app out, you could have you know a separate table with all your clients in it if you're creating multiple quotes for them, which you could link to so you didn't have to be re-entering the information every time. But for simplicity, starting this, we're just entering their name in there. So we want that text, that's good, we can leave it. Uh, we wanna make that required, so I'm gonna check this require box here. And event is very similar. This is just the event name that we're doing this catering quote for. Same exact thing, it's gonna be plain text entry and I wanna make it required. And then finally, open is what we're using to determine whether this is the quote that we're currently working on. So if you remember back when we were looking at the demo of how this is gonna work, we had that first tab that showed the quote that's currently open, the one that we're working on. So we want this to be a yes or no value, and it's gonna be yes when this particular row that we're talking about here in the sheet is the one that we're working with, and otherwise it's gonna be false. So when you're looking at your sheet, you'll have a bunch of false rows and one true row, which is the one that's currently open. So in order to make that, that type of column, I'm gonna set the type to yes or no, and I'm gonna set the initial value for this to no or false. So I can just type in false here, select that, and we are good to go there. I'm gonna save that table. All right, next thing we wanna look at is our items. So these are all the line items that we have within a particular quote. So the first thing is uh, the ID, again, an ID for this particular row in that items table, similar to quotes, but this is a, a different table, so we need a different ID in this case. Uh, and we want to leave that text, and we want to make the, um, you see that um, AppSheet has already assigned unique ID there, so we're good to go with that. We can just leave that as is. The next thing is the uh, quote ID. So this is a link back to the quote that these items or this item belongs to. So I wanna link back to the table, the first table that we were looking at, quotes. And the way that you do that is by selecting a type here and selecting ref, which is reference as the type. So it's asking me, which table do I wanna reference? And in this case, that's the quotes table. So I'm gonna select that. And this is part of checkbox here is fairly important. 
what this means is that this item that we're creating in this table is part of the table that we're referencing from. So if you think of that in terms of our quote and items, all the items within our quote, and not necessarily within our catalog, but within our quote, the actual line items within our quote are part of our quote. So if we delete the quote, we would want to delete the items because they're not really relevant anymore if the quote de uh, is deleted. So checking this is part of does that. Uh, it will actually make these line items part of the quote that they're linked to. And therefore, if you delete that quote, it'll automatically delete the item. So that's what we want in this case. I'm going to check that. All right, next one is catalog ID. So again, if we look at our sheet, we have our catalog here, which is all of our available products that we can select from. So we want to link a line item to one of those things, and then that line item is going to be able to pull in information from that product, such as the pipe price of that product when it's calculating the total for a particular line item. So if I go back here again, I want to select ref again. And in this case, I want to select the source table to catalog. And in this one, I'm not going to select is part of because the line item here isn't really part of that catalog item. For example, if I deleted that catalog item, I wouldn't want to delete all my old quote line items that had actually used those things because that's theoretically a historical record of quotes that I had given in the past. So I'm not going to check that box in this particular case and everything else with that should be good and then uh quantity is a number that's what we want so that's what we're going to use to figure out the price for each line item by multiplying the price of the catalog item that is selected by the quantity that the customer wants in that particular case and we just want to make all these things are required so um i'm just going to check yes on all these to make them all required and we are good to go with that one. And then finally, catalog, we can just, I'm not gonna actually make the catalog items editable within the app here. It is certainly possible to do that, but for simplicity in this app, we're not gonna do that. So if you did have it set up like this, you would have to actually go into the sheet here and add in or change prices if you wanted to for those particular things. But again, if you later wanna build that capability within app sheet, that's certainly possible as well. So we're not gonna, mess with that too much here just do a quick look to make sure everything looks good uh it's got the number as the id as the key which is good it's got the name as a name which is fine uh, and it's got the price each as a price so that's that's fine as well all right let's go ahead and save that all right apologies for a little bit of a rough cut there i did pre-record all that and i don't have the cleanest cuts between all the parts but anyway that's the foundation for our quoting app We've got everything set up in Google Sheets now and the initial app created an app sheet. And what we're gonna look at in the next video is how to actually turn this into a useful app by creating views on top of the data that we just configured. And we'll also create what are called virtual columns, which can do calculations such as the subtotals that we have on our line items, as well as the total that we have for the entire quote. All right, I'll see you there.